Uh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Elton McFall, aka Retro Old School, coming to you from my casa here in Montreal. Gloria, god damn, I just started recording. What does she do? She puts herself right next to the goddamn spotlight. Get out of there! Get out of there! God damn you. The fois de incroyables. Stay away from that light. Daddy needs it or else the painting is going to look like shit. God damn, as a matter of fact, I, I, started, I started this painting, um, I think it was on Monday. And I started drawing it out and I think the next day I put some paint on it. And I didn't even have that spotlight on it. I thought it might be too bright, but no, actually it's perfect because originally on Tuesday I did do a video on this. Now we're Saturday, a few days later. Today's the 4th of July. And by the way, happy Independence Day to my American viewers. There are so many of you out of the 28 billion you are there. And um, anyway, so like I said, I worked on this and I put some paint on Tuesday, but then um, I just started feeling so tired and just, I was just so active. You know me, I, I can't stay still. I can't stay in this little goddamn apartment all fucking day, especially since now it's summer. Even today it's beautiful, but I don't have a choice. I have to take it slow for the past few days because I've been so, I, I, let's just say I didn't give the heart condition um, a break like I should have. And unfortunately the pericarditis has come back to me there just with this aching dull pain in the admin, abdomen and the heart. And, uh, doesn't help, of course, if you know the city of Montreal. I walked from my place to Barrie uh, a, few, a couple of days ago. So, and uh, yeah, now I got some allergies, so I took some reactant. But um, I just said to myself, well, I'm home. I got air conditioning here. Well, it's not on right now. I said, I'm going to work on this today. And because uh, it'll make me feel better because I've been feeling so low lately again because, because of. Um, you know the the way I feel physically, and and it affects your you know how you feel mentally, you know, and you got to feel good to make beautiful paintings like that monarch or uh, or my Christine over here, you know. By the way, I'm, yeah, I'm using the little cannon for this. I'm glad I I mean I am because actually I forgot to mention that that when I did film this video with the LG sixty one phone K sixty one. I'm like watching it. I'm like, holy shit! I'm like half half of the video in the beginning. You can barely hear me. So I don't know. Somehow either the microphone went defective, or I was covering it with my hand. I don't know. Never have a problem with this camera. This camera is always the sound is great. Lots of bass. Um, you know, as I said, I, I can't. And not only that, it wasn't even well lit up like this. I filmed it like with, you know, I had this light here, but I didn't have that spotlight. And it was later in the day, so the sun was coming in through the window here, and it was like, the painting was like half lit, so to speak, so it looked like shit. So I said, I'm going to redo it, and that way, maybe if I missed any certain points I wanted to mention in this, you know, it'll, it'll be in here. So first of all, I should mention that I had wanted to do a painting of a train for, for uh, years, actually. Uh, and I actually did do a painting of a, uh, of, uh, a train for... Uh, subscriber uh, Mr. Chomitz, you know who you are buddy. I thank you once again. Years ago I did a painting for him. He's a railroad man engineer, train engineer, and uh, he did the did the painting as a gift for his brother. Very nice gift. I mean it was hundreds of dollars, you know. It was a Norfolk Southern uh, Heritage Unit. Excuse me. But even before that I wanted to do a, a painting of a, 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 a Montreal train, a Montreal commuter train. And uh, so this is not going to be a quick video, I can already tell. Anyway, I'm sitting comfortably on the couch here. It's quiet, windows closed, air conditioning is off. There's the Schwinn, which I don't know when the fuck I'll ever write again. <sighs> anyway, so um, I always thought this paint scheme was really cool. And I remember seeing these trains in service now and then. Um, uh, these are what they're called an F unit, or this one is an F7 made by Gen General Motors, GMDD, General Motors Diesel Division. They started making these like 1939 until I don't know, whatever, the 50s or something. And, um, you know, anyway, so, uh, but there, were, there was this paint scheme, right? And then there was the one they came out when they rebuilt these locomotives in the 90s. And, uh, but before they were even made into the MUC or, you know, CTCUM, uh, Commission Transport Communauté Urbaine de Montréal, in conjunction with, you know, the bus metro service company. Uh, they were like this, but even before this, it was Canadian Pacific who operated that commuter train line on, on the Vaudreuil-Dorion line from downtown Montreal to Vaudreuil-Dorion. Sorry, 
excuse me, at that time, uh, up until so many years ago, it was actually until Rigo. It's almost at the, it's almost at the Ontario border. And uh, so I just thought this was a really cool, like late seventies type of paint scheme design with the, you know, the white stripes and the, the iconic Montreal Metro white over blue Metro arrow, but you know, the other way around where it's, it's an up and arrow. And oddly enough, by the way, the guy who designed that iconic Montreal Metro symbol, the down arrow and all that Metro, he died recently. Okay, so I'm gonna get off the couch and uh, I'm gonna show you what my uh, muse is, what I'm using here. It is this picture I found online. As soon as I saw it, I said, fuck, I gotta use this picture. It's amazing. It was taken at the Westmount station, which has not been used since, oh uh, God, I don't know, the early, I think ever since uh, Vendome Metro station opened, which is like a hop, skip, and a jump away. But the structure is still there. It's just sad it's been left there to decay and uh, it's actually surprising as I've been fucking turned into a condo, but actually come to think of it, I think the whole thing is maybe gone. I don't know anymore. But anyway, as you can see, uh, I didn't even get the whole locomotive in in the picture. Never mind that shack there. But it doesn't matter because the fact of the matter is, the more something for me is blown up, the easier for me it's it is to work work on. That's one of the kicks also with uh, doing large paintings like this. You know. The last painting I did, though, of course, was in my office, was that 36 Chevy. And uh, it was a small painting, but it was a close-up uh, painting, you know. Ugh, my stomach's starting to hurt again. God almighty. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, basically, the longer I sit down, the less I'm in pain. So, I don't know how I'm, I'm going to do some work on this, but it's not going to be a lot today. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, it's off to a great start. Uh, I've got a couple of coats over here. It's going to need more. Sometimes it's three coats, sometimes even more. And even as cool as that is, it's not exactly to my liking. There's some things I have to fix. Little, little things like, um, well, like, for example, this is, you know, an even over here. Oh, this is going to have to be fixed. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, this as well. It's very meticulous, but that's like how I like to work. Even here. I think I might have to put a little bit more blue over here, maybe on this edge of that windshield. Can you, thank you, can you hear those diesels turning up? Listen. That's how they sound. And the smoke coming out. Oh my God, that's the glory days of railroading to all the rail fans. Or transportation for that matter, actually. Planes, trains, trucks, things that smoke. We don't really do that anymore. And... Um, yeah, so uh, I wish I'd worked on it this week, but like I said, I wasn't feeling well. I'm still not feeling great, but I figure the longer I s try to stay still and not go out too much, as much as it's depressing and boring, maybe I could recover more. So I keep thinking back to uh, one of the doctors I saw at the cardiology. Uh, no, I didn't see him. I spoke with him over the phone in the cardiology department, and I think my other cardiologist department, they said, they, well, I think they, they both said back in the winter to stay home for a month. A month? Then I had a guy come over today, he bought a bunch of uh, vintage Chrysler ads for me, and he told me he had pericarditis. I'm like, oh my god, my savior is the only person I ever met who had that. And he told me, he said he had to stay home a month to recover from it. Well, yeah, it's easy for him. You know, he's got a car and all that. I don't have a car to walk everywhere. Oh, anyway, fuck, I think I'm going to have this shit forever. But anyway, regardless, it's uh, going very well. And I was thinking even... Um, Maybe not today, but maybe at some point I'd like to, you guys to see me actually paint, which is not a very quick process compared to drawing, but I'll get the tripod out and you get to see me in action. And that way you also know that there's no bullshit involved because, hey, I understand if you're a skeptic, if you don't know me really, because we're in a skeptical life, skeptical world. We're skeptical of people, all the scams going on, all kinds of book, fucking bullshit people trying to screw you over and all this, you know? So that's it, man. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, there are still a few of these locomotives that exist here and there. Um, just to show you how the old locomotives were built to last forever, you know. Uh, it's, it's really amazing. Just rebuild, rebuild, renew, you know. And um, yeah, and just to go along with things, even though it's not well lit at all, but there's my uh, GM New Look bus painting I never sold. Never sold it. I had an offer once for it for 200 bucks. I did this in 2005, but I knew it was worth more than that. So, because the fact of the matter is, you know, where the hell are you going to find a painting of a Montreal bus? You know, so 
as the expression goes, good things come to those who wait. So I'm going to put on some music, rock the casbah here, and uh, keep, you, keep your eyes uh, tuned there for the rest. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,